Welcome back everybody, let's play Konoha Beach Volleyball. You can probably read, but I felt like I might as well read for you. So, this is actually my first time playing this since the little bonus episodes I threw out there. That was a very fun time with Stomach Archeo, I will point out. And now the game asks me which controllers, well, it always asks me which controllers I want to use, but my emulator still thinks I have a multi-tap in from when I was playing with Stomach Archeo. We're gonna play alone today, because that's what we prefer sometimes. So, we have played through the game as everyone, actually, just about, with a couple exceptions. We have played through as Guns. We're still saving, oh, it's a beautiful S, look at that. We're sta still saving Klonoa for last, most likely. Uh, assuming we can actually play as every character before him. Which we're yet to see if we're allowed to do. And I forgot we had played the game as Garland, actually, okay. We had less stuff to do in this game than I thought. I thought we had four characters to play through. But oh well. Time to see Nahatome. Big bad. Come on. Or rather, bigger bad. If that very, very big, if for that matter, look how small that little beach ball is. Beach ball. Little volleyball is. I, I, I don't know who he could be, but Garlin. Huh. As our alternate. Plus, Garlin has some beautiful stats. What are Nahatome's stats for that matter? They're not as extreme as I thought they'd be. I thought they'd be more like Guns' stats, actually. I figured Nahatome would be hard to play as. I was shocked to find the Nahatome that Guns actually has higher attack than Nahatome. I figured he would have max. Attack. Whatever. Blocking's cool. Low speed sucks, but whatever. Lower speed than gun sounds terrible, actually. Oh no. At least you're gonna have Garland to balance things out. That is, in fact, why Garland is a balance type. Let's joke up control, or like difficult type. Whatever. Cigar in hand, but we are ready. Why is he so huge? I will eat you. Go. Oh no, this feels so wrong! Oh god! It does not feel right serving with him. Okay. Shoo! And he hits like a madman, I'll give you that. I'll give him that. Okay. Although, of course, we're also against the first round of low 1 AI at this point. But even still, I barely actually hit that. You know what my time, I guess. Look at that. There you go. Whoa! That's some height, too. And I expect Nahatome to be quite the powerhouse, but still, phew. Oh. Not very good jumper, though. I should see what their uh, taunts are, actually. Yes, I guess what I'm probably going to be doing for most of this time here, most of my time here, is, uh... That, just having Garland pick up the ball and then... Immediately have Nia to him, just slam it wherever he feels fit. Oh, come on. I'm trying to make it easy on you. I don't have the chance to taunt as him. That was a strange gesture for saying I'll eat you. He was a little very whatever about it. Oh, I accidentally saying taunt again. For some reason, he's feeling very unresponsive when it comes to taunts. That's not... Guys! Okay! Wow! That was a terrible failure by both. I, I sent both after the ball. Once I realized that Garland wasn't going to hit it, I sent. I'm actually just going to... Take a chance to... ...the dunks like that. I love how all of them have like, at least one where they're sitting down or something. Anyways. Enough. I wonder if I've already given up an S rank for Nahatome by messing up like that. By like giving him 5 points. I'm not sure how many points your opponent can score on you for it to actually sort an S rank. But I've only got an S rank, so I'm getting pretty much perfect playthroughs. Well, 
Moo. Oh, there's Lolo. I was wondering where she was. Since you got to see Pupka earlier. I don't think we need the instructions anymore. Let's go! Oh my god! <laughs> Actually, I was trying to send Garland after that, not Hatom. I guess I accidentally pressed the button twice. Man, that ball went flying! Yeah, why does it feel like Natom actually hits the bar ball harder than guns? I think Natom's better at receiving a ball or something, so it's way easier to get a really hard hit with him. Guns, you can hit the ball really hard, but you need to hit it just right. This guy can't jump for anything, though. <laughs> Missing a lot. Beautiful. Is that actually Garland at that? Whatever. So that are pretty hard. And Garland has pretty balanced stats, too. You know, actually, I'm not sure if it's like net points that nuts you in S rank or what, but. You could probably get some bonus points to help you in S rank instead. I, I might as well just shoot for an S rank whenever I'm doing this. Instead of only trying to uh, get through the, the whole thing. Whoa! Maggie, what are you doing? That was poor. Got kind of thrown off from over there. Oh! For some, for some reason, I kind of got the impression I just like slammed it straight on top of the moon there. I don't know what's happening to the frame rate all of a sudden. Yeah! The way. And I realized that what happened was the Moo actually dived for it, but it kind of looked like... Why, Lolo? What looked like was... You guys are jerks. Are you not going to let me get the extra points? Goodbye. Black hole. Anyways, that one time hit, even though the move died for it, kind of looked more like heart move. Got very brutally smashed by the ball instead. Kind of isn't really paying much attention right now, is he? He's just letting Monotome do all the work. Huh. For some reason, I think I remember hearing Monotome uh, say, Something like along the lines of all hail me every single time he beat me in story mode or in championship mode. Because that has happened many, many times at this point. Dozens. Name me on level 2 AI. I know certain characters appear during certain rounds. Like you usually see uh, Popka and someone else in the first level. You tend to see Klinol in the second, I think. The third seems to always. Have Lirina or Chippa, well, at least one of the two, if not both of them. I find it interesting. Yeah, I think the hardest part with Natome is just his model throwing off your gameplay. Because otherwise, he's ridiculously powerful. His jump isn't the best, and it's really hard to misjudge his jumping abilities because. For that very same reason, really. But he's workable. He's very, very workable. Yeah, like she never jumps as high as I expect him to. And sorry if you just heard a little ding. Yeah, like, I don't feel like I have to time anything properly with Nahak to him. Feels like he just always slams the ball as hard as he can, no matter how you time it. Chippo, come on. I'll try to faint a little bit. Natome, I don't know what his faint stat was. I think it was before. I think he had a decent block stat, but not a good faint or something like that. Yeah. 
Garland has okay faint from my remember right. His stats are pretty, pretty much all balanced except for his uh what was it? With the sole exception of speed, I think it was. Alright, these guys better not miss any dumb things. I hate you so much, Chipple! You know, made me lose on a lot of points just then. Crap! Oh, thanks, Triple. We're worthless, dude. Alright, well, I think we're getting a little bit of a lead in. I saw enough what the criteria are for getting an S rank. But, oh well. So I don't know if it's gonna help me get one or not. I don't know if it's just a net score or. Not letting your opponent's score exceed a certain amount throughout the whole run, but, oh well. I hate, I hate how Nahatoma has texture teeth, like teeth that are part of his texture on his model, and teeth that are part of his model. It looks so wrong. Not even the same kinds of teeth. Like, the texture teeth are white, like bone teeth. They're normal. And then the model teeth are these big purple things. How does that work? <laughs> the freaking monkey move. Be quiet. Okay, well, that's gonna be it for this episode's break. We're gonna, uh, Beach volleyball. Oh look at that! Naruto wasn't MVP this time. See you guys next time when we finish out Naruto story. I suppose we'll see if he has a very interesting ending. We'll also find out, I suppose, if we're gonna have to, if we're gonna be able to save Konoha for last, actually, because we'll see if we unlock a new character or not. Woohoo! See you guys.